well, well, I have to say that as much as I love the first one, this second one is even better. It's Deadless Divide, it's the second part, the first one was Dream Nation, and it's written by Justina Ireland. I have to say that I love this one to be it. I mean, at the end of the book, uh, she uh, says something about where are the black people in books, uh, in the Westerns, for instance. And uh, that made me laugh, because I remember that my father read a lot of Westerns, and he always was joking about how all of them had this stelly glaze, this stelly eyes, this, and they all were white, and they all were perfect, they were shutters, they best guys and they did always save the day and for me it grew it grew boring to always have the same story and I love reading books about different kind of people not only black people like in this one but all kind of people because I think that if one thing if there is one thing that makes us special is diversity not only in skin but also in culture in ways of thinking different religions and I think that in a world so global uh, we should find ways of embracing each other instead of hating each other over things that makes us special and different if you know what I mean. And I have to say that I love this book a lot because uh, we are going to see lots of interesting things and uh, we are going to pick where the book ended, the first one, Red Nation, and we are going to follow Jane and Catherine in their adventures. And I have to say that I love that this book tackles on a lot of things. For once, I have to say that I love that Catherine continues to be asexual, that she doesn't feel any kind of attractions toward other people, because that's one, one more thing that makes her different and an amazing character. And I have to say that I also love how she is battling with mental health, because she has anxiety. And um, for me, it made her even more relatable. I have to say that with all my love for Jane, I have to say that Catherine has been my favorite from the first book. And I have to say that in this one, she's even better than she was in the first book. And also we are going to find this book divided between the two, the two girls. We are going to have chapters narrated by Catherine and we are going to have chapters narrated by Jane, which is amazing because it gives us uh, more hindsight in how they think and how they feel about everything that's going on. Um, their past, their future, what they are going through and also because at a certain point in the book they are going to be divided and they are going to go through separate ways and this also provides us with a more bigger scope of what's going on in the world in this America that has zombies, shamblers moving around and how people resist to change and how they don't want to be told that white people has to work because they have always relied on black people saving the day. So we are going to find this uh, society that are still it's thinking that black people are not people really. And in the, uh, as it happened to me in the first book, there are places in which this book really makes you think and makes you hurt when you think that all these things that you're seeing here are things that are real and there was a, a powerful line that I love that it's when Catherine it decides that she's not going to pass as white anymore and that uh, she is a black girl and she is uh it doesn't matter what color her skin is she's able she is great as she is and she's not going to let anyone make her hate herself and for me that's very powerful because reading the book you understand where these people come from they come to be subjugated think as of less think as of cattle that they have to be grateful because they are given a chance to risk their lives to solve the white people and it's like you're beginning to see that the world is just fuck up and you know and, and it's crazy and i love that there is books like that this one where you can learn more about things, about, uh, you know, I don't know, and I've never, I don't know how to even explain that, but this book makes you think, makes you feel what racism is, and I don't know exactly how or why, but I love how Justina Ireland, it's able to make me feel so much with what she says about how uh, people who have different schemes or different ways of thinking are just, you know, taking advantage or being thought of 
being thought as less and that's not right and it shouldn't be right and I love how this book makes me think about that and makes me rage against all these kinds of things and I, I believe that everyone is equal to everyone there is no more and no less and you know and I love this book because I think it's very thought-provoking and it puts you in a place where you feel what these girls are feeling and you want to reach out and say I am proud of who you are. I don't care what your skill looks like. Let's be friends, let's hang out, it's amazing. I also love how this book takes more onto the fight between women and men, how it uh, talks more about the way in which a male thinks that he has the right to do everything and men explaining and all these things. And I love how the girls, I love how Catherine, I love how Jane say, okay, okay, I know what you're going to tell me. I have been doing all this my life. So yeah, shut up. And I love that. I love that we have a strong female lead who know their place and they know their value. And I love how they sometimes think, okay, I stop right there. Okay, I not I need not hear anything else that you have to say, shut up. And I love that. I also love the journey, the arts that these characters have, how each of them go through their personal inferno. Catherine remembers more of her past and she explains us it to us. And Jane goes through a very dark journey. And I love to see how much they evolve and how they come out at the end. And I don't know if it's going to be a third book, but I need one because I love this world. I love these girls. And I love how much these books punch me in the soul and make me think about things that maybe I didn't realize. Or maybe I did, but I didn't thought that it could hurt so much. I don't know. I mean, it's amazing. I love this book so much. As I said, you are going to have the point of view of these two main characters, Katharina, Catherine and Jane. And uh, the characters are amazing, are so well drawn. In this book, we are going to find them losing lots of things and they are trying to keep on going despite, despite the odds and despite everything. And I love how great they are and how well made they are. And they are human, they are half flowers, they sometimes do the wrong things and I love them even more for that because they are not perfect, they are human and that's amazing. And the narrative, it's, uh, I just flew through this book and it's like almost 600 pages and I had, you know, I was sitting here and it was, I had to do other things and I just couldn't put it down because I wanted to know how it all solved itself. And I have to say that, I have to say, hey, well done. This book is amazing. The plot, it's amazing. And I'm not going to explain much about it because I want you to be surprised. But let's say that if you like or love the first one, you're going to adore this one because this is amazing. I cannot wait to see what Justina Ireland and right next because I have to say that I completely love uh, the Dread Nation book and the Deadless Divide book. It's like, I don't know, I treasure them because the ways that, that this book has made me feel and has made me realize that sometimes um, you have to understand people because of what they are. Also, I love that sometimes Jane tries to um, push the, her own expectations onto others and she comes to realize that maybe you can be good at one thing or maybe whatever, but another person, it's just enough as, it, as that person is. Maybe they are not as good shooters as you are, maybe they are not as good fighters as you are, but they are enough as they are. And I love this idea of people trying to find their own place, their own worth, their own value, and accepting, every one of us accepting that other person, uh, other people are enough as they are. And I love the feeling, this warm feeling. I don't know how to explain that this book makes me feel. So if you like books about representation, about inclusion, about uh, Western with zombies and, and sheriffs and cowboys and uh, amazing girls with a lot of strength, just pick this one because this book is amazing, girls and guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.